Hey, so um, it's been raining and for one rain again. So I figured I'd test how this uh, tent, pop up tent, works in the rain. It's uh, Discovery Adventures Lake Tahoe 2. I don't know how you pronounce that. And uh, it's for two people. Any tent? Pop up tent. <laughs> I'm gonna put it over here. Cierra la para que no tengas visitas adentro. This is so <laughs> moist that it just goes right in. I'm not sure if this is meant to go in here, so well, it's just like that. It's honestly like debatable. Uh-oh, I think this also you can maybe put something over it? I'm not sure. It doesn't exactly come with the best instructions. Okay. There you go. Let's go inside. Okay, uh, unlike other tents, it doesn't have that little lobby thing, so you can like leave your dirty shoes. I suppose you just have to, you know, leave them on one side. Okay. I think this also you can maybe put something over it? I'm not sure. It doesn't exactly come with the best instructions. Okay. 
There you go. Let's go inside. Okay. I'm like other tent doesn't have that little lobby thing. So you can like leave your dirty shoes. I suppose you just have to, you know, leave them on one side. Okay. Oh, but here's the rain over me. And I've set it on uh, wet grass and, you know, ground. So to test whether or not it, it gets wet, wet inside. Uh, okay. Also, it says it has, well, it has this uh, transport bag, I guess, and it's supposed to have a hook for a lamp on the ceiling. But, uh, I don't see it. Do you? No hook. Kind of annoying, really. Uh. And you can see the water droplets on top. Now let me tell you, I do feel like I need a sleeping bag or a blanket, something like that. Uh, because the, the, the ground of the uh, tent does feel rather cold. have to completely close the tent because otherwise you, you, the water does get in Definitivamente se necesita una I just uh, dry it, but there is definitely uh, water around there. Let's look anywhere else. Nope. Nope. Nope.
that. I pan them completely so. Any time you open the tent door, even if it's just a little bit of rain, all of the rain that has accumulated, will shut up your fucking beds. All of the the rain that's on the roof or whenever it can rain down here on the on the door, and you can't. It is complicated. Not really. Okay, there's definitely a leak now. Yep. Over right there, this is wet. This here is wet. Over there, now you can see it, but it's clearly wet. Not sure where the leak is coming from, but I can tell you, it's fucking wet inside. So, now that I put up the um, blanket on the floor, it doesn't feel nearly as cold. So we're about, where was it, like 11 degrees? And it feels pretty okay, temperature-wise. I'm sure that if I got my sleeping bag, it would be fine. But I would not recommend this tent in the rain because it is uh, impractical. Unless you can get a rain roof. If you can get a rain roof over it, then it will work fine. They, they do sell them, you know? But, but I already got a decent tent precisely because when I bought this, I didn't feel it fit my purposes. Because also, the this is the size of the bar you transport it in. It's kind of huge. So you can't you can't um, carry this if you're backpacking, if you're you know, on foot or in a bike. It's uh, too big, it's uncomfortable. And uh, I'm gonna put the towel over here where it's leaking. And I'm not and it's great if you've um, if you get a car and you're doing your sort of off-road thing or whatever, you can just pop it up 